When Shakespeare set about dramatizing the story of Romeo and Juliet, the plot was already so well known that his opening prologue is a total spoiler. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. What makes Shakespeare's version memorable is the rich lyric poetry in which the Capulets and Montagues feud, Romeo and Juliet conduct their romance, and the prince admonishes all to learn from their example and turn hate to love. William Shakespeare, who lived from 1564 to 1616, was an actor and a writer in a leading theatrical company in London, the Lord Chamberlain's Men, which performed his plays. After Queen Elizabeth I's death in 1603, King James I further mm. legitimized the company with a royal patent and changed its name to the King's Men. Shakespeare published most of his work from 1594 to 1613. He wrote Romeo and Juliet sometime between 1591 and 1596, close to the end of the Renaissance. It was common for Renaissance authors to rework existing stories. He based his version of Romeo and Juliet on a long narrative poem, The Tragical History of Romeo and Juliet by Arthur Brooke. In Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare expanded the content and themes considered worthy of drama, making romance a legitimate subject for tragedy. The Renaissance was a time of cultural, religious, political, scientific, and artistic changes in Europe. The movement was centered around the concept of humanism, a concept that valued education as a vehicle to empower citizens and to inspire them to be virtuous. Shakespeare's audience lived within a highly male-dominated patriarchal system wherein the ruler's moral values often conflicted with the individual's. Women had no independent authority over others and little to no control of their own lives. Theaters during the Renaissance era drew enthusiastic audiences from all classes. Those from all walks of life would often see themselves exposed and sometimes ridiculed in the plays. The theaters acted as an outlet where playwrights and actors could critique social and political realities by embedding them in entertainment. Theater mostly took place in open spaces without artificial lights and minimal props. The play's language, therefore, had to evoke the audience's imagination. Romeo and Juliet opens with a chorus that explains the who, what, and where of the play. The setting is Verona, Italy, where two rival families, the Montagues and Capulets, have been in a violent conflict for some time. Two star-crossed lovers, Romeo and Juliet, fall in love at a masquerade ball. Unfortunately, they come from the households that violently hate one another. Sure, their families would not approve of them being together, they secretly get married by Friar Lawrence. After their secret marriage, Juliet's cousin Tybalt kills one of Romeo's friends, Mercutio. In a fit of vengeance, Romeo kills Tybalt and the prince banishes him. No longer allowed in the city, he riskily sneaks into Juliet's room to consummate their marriage. He leaves for a nearby city in the morning, and Juliet learns that her parents arranged a wedding with another suitor for her. She goes to Friar Lawrence to devise a plan for her and Romeo's reunion. They plan to fake her death so that she can escape with Romeo forever. Friar Lawrence gives Juliet a sleeping potion that makes it appear she is dead. After the funeral, her family puts her in a tomb. Romeo hears that Juliet has died before the letter informing him of the friar's plan reaches him. He visits the tomb, sees Juliet appearing dead, and drinks poison, killing himself. When Juliet wakes up, she discovers that Romeo is dead and then kills herself. The family <laughs> finds the dead couple and decide to end their feud. Daggers and swords represent violence and masculinity. Plants and poisons represent the duality between good and evil. The sun and the moon represent moderate love versus intense, shifting love. Love and marriage present the difficult conflict between true love and officially sanctioned love. Violence represents the manifestation of hate. Authority depicts characters having control over others. Differences in age cause conflict between the young and old, as the dispositions of young characters collide with the expectations of older characters. Identity explores who someone actually is versus their names and associations. Juliet may be a fictional character, but she has a house in Verona, visited by a quarter of a million people each year. 
She also receives letters, simply addressed to Juliet, Verona, Italy, which are answered by a team of volunteers. From ballet and opera adaptations, to film versions, to Broadway musicals, to graphic novels, Romeo and Juliet is one of Shakespeare's most potent cultural touchstones, the shorthand for star-crossed lovers, ill-fated romance, and timeless passion.